this walk I was just uh, frying some uh, pork belly so as you can see it's a uh, uh, pretty rough looking there's uh, burnt marks so I can clean this uh, wok now so I'm gonna put about uh, put about maybe say uh, three teaspoons of salt in there So what I'm going to do is just uh, use a paper napkin and just put the paper napkin uh, in the wok. So I heated up the wok a bit and now I shut off the wok. So I'm just going to use this paper napkin to uh, scrub the uh, surface. So you can turn on the heat too if you like, that's probably more efficient. So I'm just going to turn it on for a little bit here. So when you scrub off the uh, wok like this. Uh, that that uh, you use the salt for this scrubbing uh, mostly just when there's uh, when you cook uh, say meat or something that has a lot of uh, sticky uh, substance on it. Normally you don't use the salt that much. I don't use it that much. So just give it a light squat scrub. So that should do it right there, just like that. So I just dumped most of the salt in the garbage. So you can see it, it looks pretty good. It's pretty even. So I have this uh, bamboo brush that I use to clean the wok. So you don't need to use soap. Some people say you should use soap and some people say you don't need to use soap. So just leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Should uh, you use soap when you clean the wok, a carbon steel wok, or should you not use soap? But I use this uh, small bamboo brush. Make sure you get the small one, not the commercial size. So this is really handy for cleaning a wok and other uh, utensils as well. So I'm not gonna use any soap. Just use this uh, bamboo brush. So the bamboo brush is really good to uh, pick up any other uh, um, burn marks in there. So you can see it's uh, really dirty after you cook uh, meat. So it doesn't take that long to uh, clean a wok. Just use the brush. And I was told a bamboo brush actually uh, is self-cleaning. It has natural um, cleaning agent in there. It's a natural, natural self-cleaning tool. So somebody, uh, one of my viewers asked me about that and I did a little research on that. And I actually did ask the people that sell the wax. Uh, and they told me the bamboo uh, brush is actually a self-cleaning brush. So you don't need to wash it in soap or anything. Although sometimes I do rinse it out in uh, soap or uh, detergent. So I'm just gonna turn the heat back on just to dry up the wok. So I've got some uh, peanut oil here. So I just put a small amount onto the napkin. So I'm just gonna recoat the uh, surface with the oil so that way the wok doesn't rust. And so you're ready for the cooking again as soon as you do this. So sometimes you still have a little bit of uh, sticky particles on there so just go like that. And one of my viewers, actually several viewer, viewers have actually asked me what about on the bottom here if you have a bit of rust you can just use a, the same napkin just to go over here. The bottom is not as important because the uh, cooking is done on the the uh, inside surface, but uh, sometimes you do get a bit of rust here, so you just take a napkin with the oil after you finish oiling the front, uh, and then just do for the back as well like this. So this will help uh, keep the uh, wok from rusting. So there you have it. Your wok is all ready for the next uh, time you cook. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out my video. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and also be sure to subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my other channel, the Chinese Cooking Channel, which was awarded the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world, and also awarded the top 40 best China YouTube channels in the world. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking over here.